by the time I graduated high school, my mom's and my relationship was already, you know, it was yeah. already like kind of buried. It wasn't, there wasn't much left. I love my mom, loved her, still loved her very much, but it was like, she was just too toxic for me, mm-hmm. you know? And I kept thinking, nope, this she's going to change. Something's going to happen. She's going to have a breaking point. I'm just going to keep my distance. I'm going to keep torturing her, you know, like telling her to fuck off and come talk to me when you're done drinking mm-hmm. and being a piece of shit, you know? And lo and behold, without even knowing it, like I was wasting the only years that I had left with my mom, mm-hmm. you know? And I, by the time I was 25 years old, she dies. And I didn't get to, last time I, last things that I said to her was, you're a fucking joke and I, I fucking hate you. Literally, verbatim, you're a fucking joke. I fucking hate you. Go fuck yourself. Like it was le- the last things that I said to her. And I can never take that back. I can never write that wrong. I can never, she died with that in her heart. I'm sure she, it's, I'm sure it's not, that's not the case. I know she knows that I love her and I know she knows and I'm, I make a, I make living amends to my mom every day now. Mm-hmm. Like that's how I bond with her. That's how I live out the rest of my lives and my life without her here with me is I make a living amends to her by never treating another person the way that I treated her mm-hmm. ever again. Like someone's disposable. Like someone is, you know, like someone is just a monster and they're not just going through something. I took her completely for granted and it, destroyed me. It was the worst pain I ever felt in my fucking life. I don't know. You don't know pain until you lose your mom or your dad. It's, yeah. it's awful. Yeah. I can't even imagine losing my dad, but like my mom, that was horrible because it was, I can never, I, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't take that back. I have to live with that guilt. I have to live with that regret, you know? Yeah. And it's, you know, and I, I don't know. It's, it is, it is hard. It is hard. It's still hard every day. But like I have made so much peace with it because she was such a tormented soul. She was so, so miserable and so tormented and so sad and so lost. Mm -hmm. She wasn't serving herself anymore. She wasn't Mm -hmm. serving anybody, not herself, not her family, not her kids. She's not that she deserved to die, but she's really better off where she's at. She's happy now. She's at peace. She doesn't have to be in pain anymore. And that's fucking awesome. I'm happy for her. I really am. And like, I, I think about that all the time. I'm like, if you were still here right now, like you would be pissing everybody off. Yeah. You know? So I'm so happy for you. Yeah. But it fucking killed me for months. (sighs) As you imagine, it was, it was awful. And regardless of how her and my relationship was, that does not mean that the the sadness goes out the fucking door. Yeah. It does not mean that I don't still love her, you yeah. know? And like, I had people telling me that. They're like, yeah, well, your relationship with your mom wasn't that good anyway, so why are you even sad? And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, who the fuck are you to tell me how to grieve over my mom, regardless yeah. of what we went through? Yeah. You don't know, like, why our relationship was bad and why we're at this point. Like, you don't know shit, you know? Yeah. And so there was nothing that anyone could say. No right thing, no wrong thing. Like, I just shut everyone out and did drugs and was just like, bye. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, ugh, God, I feel for you so much because it's the hardest thing to love an alcoholic mm-hmm. because the it things is. that we do to ourselves and the way that we hurt the people who love us, it's oh like, God. it's really hard. And that's it like is. one of the worst things about being an alcoholic it's like not even I mean the way that I hated myself because mm-hmm. of the pain that I saw like that I put my family through wow mm-hmm. I didn't think I was gonna get I'm this so bad no, no 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 but um so I just want you to know that I know that your mom loved you and I think that you should not feel guilty about pulling back the way you did because it's not fair to put you through that mm-hmm. you know what I mean and like that is to have to watch your mom like slowly kill herself like that, Mm -hmm. that is fucking horrible. And, and you're not responsible. It's not your responsibility to like stick around and like, we're only human, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, for you to be constantly like loving and forgiving and like understand that she's just going through something because Mm -hmm. it's like, it's so hard to understand. Like, even when I was like in the depths of my alcoholism, I was like, why am I doing this to myself? Mm -hmm. Like, I remember, 
so often I would like make myself so sick and I would like throw up in the toilet Mm -hmm. and I'd be like sitting there and I'd flush the toilet and I'd feel like as I'm watching like my vomit go down the toilet, I'm like, that's my life right now. And I know this and I'm conscious that I'm, I'm throwing my life away and then I'm hurting the people who love me. And like my family didn't know what to do. They'd never like, no one in my family's ever gotten sober. You know, there's Mm -hmm. no recovery in my family at all. And I have a lot of alcoholics, especially on my dad's Mm -hmm. side. And they just didn't know what to do. And, um, and I had no reason to be an alcoholic. Like your mom went through a lot of stuff, you know, Mm -hmm. she had a lot of pain and I can, and in some sense, it feels like that makes more sense. But for me, I had like this wonderful gifted life. I had like people who loved me. I had like Mm -hmm. all of these things. And I still like chose to like, yeah, do, you know, just to, I mean, I was, you know, I was at a state where I was drunk all the time. I was drunk in the morning. Mm -hmm. I started drinking in the morning. And I drank 24 fucking seven Mm -hmm. and I had the shakes and I, um, my liver was swollen. Like I was in bad, bad shape. Mm -hmm. Um, so, and so I just, I don't know. It's the worst part is the thing is the pain that we put other people through. And I hope that you don't feel like you did anything bad by feeling the way that you did. You know what I mean? Because like, how, how could you be any other way? And you were young, Mm. you know, and to, to, it's just like, it's so hard. It's, I, I don't like, I, like I said, I have made so much peace with it beyond like the amount of spiritual growth that I have gone through and the amount of digging that I had to do and the amount of therapy I had to go through to get to this point where like I could talk about it and be like it's okay like I'm okay you know like I don't I don't like freak out and break down and cry about it anymore because like it's it broke me so hard that I don't have anything left in me to give yeah I I broke it already I broke myself enough you know now it's now I'm I'm grateful for the relationship that I get to have with her now Mm-hmm. because she's not she's she lives in my heart she lives in my spirit she lives in everything that is me and she always sends me little signs she sends me songs she t- oh, turns on my tv there's all kinds of weird shit that i that i like to connect myself to her to knowing yeah. that she's still here she visits me in my dreams like there's so many things that i get to experience her in knowing that she's still here with me and we get to bond and we get to now love each other we don't ha- we're not fighting we're not yelling She's not drinking in front of me. She's not doing anything that's pissing me off. I just get to love her now. Yeah. I get to live with so much love for my mom. And that is something I've never experienced before. So yeah. it's a blessing. Like I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm grateful for that. Cause I would have probably not be doing that right now if she was still here. Yeah. I would be like in the fuck you stage still. Yeah. You know, just not learning and not, I learned so much from her death. I really did. I learned so much about people and, and, and addiction and people's minds and like healing and growing. I learned a lot. I really did. Yeah. And so it's, it's, it really is okay. Like, um, and how amazing too, just in comparison that you were able to come out of this mm -hmm. and have that perspective and have that personal and spiritual growth from such a tragedy where you look at like how your mom got into where she was because of like being surrounded by a lot of death Mm -hmm. and, so it's just like, yeah. it's amazing that you were able to go the other way and in like a weird way. I mean, that's like the gift your mom gave you with her death, you know, mm-hmm. that she didn't get to, she didn't get to experience, yeah. you know, she, she let it break her. Yeah. Life really fucking ripped her apart. Yeah. It really did. I mean, she's beyond her parents dying and going through a divorce, like all within the same like two years. Yeah. I, can't I mean, she was raped a couple of times. Like she's been abused. She's been fucked up with life. Life literally yeah. pu- put her in its mouth, chewed her up and then shit her out and flush her into a sewage line. Yeah. Like she really did not, you know, she had it rough. And yeah, the, I, I think that to touch on what you said, Thank you for recognizing that because that is something that I am really proud of is that I did not let it consume me the way that it consumed her Mm because I very well could have. I have depression. I have suicidal depression. I go fucking crazy. I have in the past, you know, and so that almost took me the way that it took her. Mm -hmm. But something, something is on my side to where maybe it was her that was like, no, got to go through this, but you're not going to let this fucking kill you. 
Yeah. You're going to be stronger than me. You're going to be better than me, you know? And, and, but that was cool. It was like, I looked at it as a cool experience, a learning experience. And I'm, I'll never, I don't regret it. You know, I don't regret what I went through and I don't regret, I don't regret anything, you know? And I, I, maybe I had to go through with, with my mom, what I went through in order to learn how to really truly love and respect people. Yeah you know, and take people, not, don't take people for granted, you know, and, and, and take it one day at a time Yeah. and not try to change anybody, not try to control anybody. I tried to control and change my mom. My, my, my control issues were crazy with her. Mm -hmm. You know, I spent all this time fucking trying to change her and hate on her and whatever, instead of just spending the time that I had with her, but I didn't know. Yeah. You know, I couldn't have known. So it's okay. And I mean, really like, you know, I mean, you're a part of your mother and your mom lives on through you. So like maybe there's that side of her that could have survived through all that. And that's like you. It's a piece of me. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. 